This is the Learn How to Snowboard series from Snowboard Addiction with our student Rio. Rio, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. Good. We got your gear. Yes. Board, boots, and bindings. This video, we're going to be going through stance, setting up the board, and getting it ready for snowboard. First thing we got to determine is whether you're regular or goofy footed. This is which way you stand on the board. For example, I'm regular footed, which means as I face the camera right now, my left foot is in front. That is the dominant way that I snowboard. Now, if you've ever done any sports like skateboarding, surfing, or wakeboarding, you'll generally know if you're regular or goofy. Have you done those sports before? No, not really. Okay, so um, are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Right-handed, okay. So I find that most people who are right-handed snowboard regular. And you know what, it doesn't really matter either way because I'm actually gonna teach you both the snowboard forwards and backwards. Because you're right-handed, you're not sure which way, if you're regular or goofy. I'm gonna start you off as a regular snowboarder and I'm gonna get feedback from you if you feel like you're more goofy. Which means that if you feel like your dominant foot is your right foot, you're goofy. If you feel like your dominant foot is the left foot, you are a regular snowboarder. The next thing we're gonna do is find out how wide you wanna mount these bindings on the board. And this is called stance width. So stance width is how far apart the bindings are. If you go too wide, it becomes uncomfortable and makes it difficult for you to move your legs. If you go too narrow, it's not that stable. So we're looking for a mid ground. The good thing is a lot of boards actually have what's called a reference width. And the reference stance on this board says that it's 21 inches wide. If you're enjoying our videos, then make sure to come and check out Addiction Plus. It is the best snowboard coaching program in the world. As a member of Addiction Plus, you get access to our structured snowboard courses that range from beginner to expert, and you can track your progression, weekly live coaching sessions with us, upload your own videos for analysis of your writing, personalized feedback to help you fast track your progression, and the ability to attend our in-person events. Addiction Plus is incredible value and the most effective way for you to fast track your writing. Come join us now. I happen to know that I'm taller than you and I ride 21 and a half inches wide. Mm -hmm. So I think 21 inches for you is a little bit wide. What I'm gonna set it up at is 20 inches. Okay. So I'm gonna take that reference stance of 21 inches. I'm gonna take half an inch on each side, which will put you at 20 inches. Okay. So if you take that binding, what we're gonna do is you're gonna pop up the footbed by pulling right there and there. Oh yeah. Cool. And you'll see there's actually a little, there's almost a number here. Can you see those numbers? Oh yeah. Eight, 7.5, 7. See those numbers? Yeah. What number are you? Seven. Correct. That's your shoe size. <laughs> so this can actually adjust the size of the footbed of the binding for the size boot you have. Nice. You're a size seven boot, so that we're gonna we're gonna insert those things when, once we're done into the seven, the okay. second one. But before we do that, we're gonna take one of these discs. You take one, and I'll take one. And what we're gonna do is, you'll see all these markings. Yeah. We're gonna start with the triangle on a zero. Kinda like that. Okay. What that means, is that that is zero degrees of angle. It's yeah. dead straight, so you can put yours on. So you'll find those two little screws and kind of slot them into the, into the slot. Yep, so that is zero degrees of angle. And then if you hover it over to where it says reference, can you see where it says reference? Yeah. That would be 21 inches wide. So go back half an inch towards me, which is one line towards me. Uh, that, now we've, we've taken a half inch off each. Okay. So the next thing we have to decide is what angles we want to do. Now on these discs, each one of these teeth is three degrees of angle. I'm gonna set you up with a very neutral stance for a beginner snowboarder, which allows you to both snowboard forwards and backwards. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 12 degrees of angle in your front foot and negative 12 degrees in your back foot. What that is called is a duck stance. That means that you are standing in a very neutral position where you could ride and look both ways. On this board, see how it goes, it's at zero? We're actually gonna go one, nine, 12. So I went four notches. So what you'll I see there. I don't know here, if it's like plus or negative. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put your front foot towards that angle. Okay. So if you take it right now, um, if we lift this up just a little and go bang, bang, bang. See how that's nine? Yeah. And then that one more, that should be 12. Or did I go too much? Oh, that's 12. Yeah, so 
We're on the fourth notch, and then you can see we've got one screw, two screw, mm. and the angle of the binding now is like in that kind of duck stance. Yeah. Okay? So that there would be 12 degrees on your front foot and 12 degrees on your back foot. Okay. Cool? Yeah, cool. Now, the other thing that we would like to establish, the last part of the stance, is that you want to mount your bindings centrally between your toe edge and heel edge. What that means is you do not want to have the binding too far towards the toe edge yeah. or too far towards the heel edge. You want to be central. And we're only going to be able to tell that once we actually put the once we put a boot in and have a look where it is. Right. So what we're going to start with now is we're going to chuck on some hardware. These bindings can be mounted to the burden channel system, which is what we're using here. Mm -hmm. This is um, if you ever see a snowboard with that line, that's called the burden channel system. Okay. If you ever see a snowboard with holes like that, that's called the four x four mounting system. Okay. Most other snowboard brands use four x four mounting system. Yeah. Um, these bindings, step-on bindings, can be mounted to either system. Okay, cool. And most good snowboard bindings could be mounted to either system. Okay, nice. They come with two different sets of screws. So you've got the, the black ones are what we're using today. If it was a 4x4, four four, you would use the silver screws. Okay. Okay? Oh, yeah, and it's got a picture. Yep. So what you're going to do is you're going to take two of those, and I'm going to take two of them. The only tool you really need to set up a snowboard is a screwdriver. That's all you really need. Most people have a screwdriver. If not, you can buy them at any hardware store, etc. So if you hold that up and look for those two screw holes. So here. Yep. And then you can take that and you can screw them in. It's like just as tight as they can go. That's a good question. Once you have got your stance, stance set or where you're actually going to snowboard, you should always do up your screws as tight as you can. Every time? Yeah. You don't want them moving on you when you're snowboarding. Now, one thing I want you to pay attention to is see that black line there? That's the black, we're in the right spot. Okay. You want to make sure that we're, we're doing 12 degrees and on that black line, which is, um, which is bringing our stance to that 20 inches wide. Okay. If you're enjoying our videos, then make sure to come and check out Addiction Plus. It is the best snowboard coaching program in the world. As a member of Addiction Plus, you get access to our structured snowboard courses that range from beginner to expert, and you can track your progression, weekly live coaching sessions with us, upload your own videos for analysis of your writing, personalized feedback to help you fast track your progression, and the ability to attend our in-person events. Addiction Plus is incredible value and the most effective way for you to fast track your writing. Come join us now. Now the other thing is now that we're going to put the footbed down you're going to look for that second hole where it was size 7 which is the boot size and you're going to put that into the second hole. God, how do you see? It's, hard see. it's kind of hard to see. Thank that's it. Okay now right now you have this set up 12 degrees, 12 degrees, 20 inches wide. Yeah. The last thing we're going to check is where was the boot. As I'm looking down the line here to see how much does it stick over on the toe edge versus how much does it stick over on the heel edge. For that boot binding board combo, we're on the neutral screw position and it's actually looking pretty central to me, okay. which is what you want. That's good. That means it's easy. Yeah. Awesome. If it wasn't central, if you could see it was obviously too far to the heel or too far to the toe, those base plates, you can move them. You can move the screw hole forward or backwards to get that perfect position. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I, I can show you that actually. If I, if I pop a boot out and I pop this up, what you'll see here is you'll see these two screws here. Oh yeah. I can move the whole binding forward if I had to. Yeah. And I can flip the whole base pad around and move it back if I wanted to. Okay. So right now we're on the central holes, which is good. For your boot binding combo, it worked perfectly. Yeah. If it didn't, I would make that adjustment. Okay. That will really help with on your, your balance, edge. especially as you're learning to snowboard, Here we go. even as you're good at snowboarding. And this video showed you how to set up your snowboard. We covered how wide your stance should be, what's a good angle to start with if you have no idea, are you regular or goofy, 
We don't even know. We don't know. We're going to go with regular and see how it goes. <laughs> going to teach you how to snowboard both ways and making sure that your bindings are central between your heel and toe edge. You've now got a sit up that I'm going to be able to get out there and teach you. Awesome. <laughs>